Hello YouTube, welcome back. So today we're looking at our Cub Cadet LT 1018. Now I did a video of this lawnmower maybe a year ago in that green shed, but it wasn't a very good video, so I'm doing a better video. Now we got this lawnmower in 2004, so it is older than me by two years. And it has 745 hours on it. That means I get to mess with this little hour meter. Hold on, there we go. 745 hours. And we ended up placing the engine on it. This is a Briggs and Stratton Intec 17 and a half horsepower single cylinder. It was originally an 18 and a half single cylinder, but that engine went to shit. Um, it ended up, I think it blew a head gasket and it just wasn't starting very well in the winter. It actually was starting poorly in the fall, not winter. But other than that, we haven't had really any problems with this lawnmower. Probably the most problems we had were related to this mowing deck. We had to replace a couple pulleys and a couple bearings and in there, that shinier pulley, we just replaced that not too long ago. Now you'd also see white outdoor lawnmowers use a very similar style to this. You'd see um, Yardman's and I know there's another one, I just can't think of it. I think Troy Bolt did this too, Husky. It is an MTD. You can tell that little brass logo, if you can even see that there. It's easier here. You know, a lot of people say, oh, MTDs are junk, they break, they break. Maybe they're talking about the smaller little boxy-ish ones from the 90s. Um, the ones with the transmatic transaxle. Um, I don't know, but you know, this lawnmower is an MTD, and the biggest problem we had with it was probably the engine. But the engine is an engine, not the not the lawnmower itself. But if we're talking about the whole unit, probably the most we've had to replace is the pulleys and the the, um, the bearings on the deck. Of course, it's not a tank. You're not going to crash it a million times and expect it to work very well, but it's not very, it's not very bad of a lawnmower. We haven't really had any issues with it, except the engine, which I've already explained. Now, we do leave the little um, bagger thing on which is in the shed and uh, you probably can't see well because the bagger but there's a gas gauge in here and this is a hydrostatic powered by your foot so you just push that pedal forwards to go forwards like that and then backwards to go backwards here's your height setting very simple L being lowest and H being the highest. You got your cruise control, parking brake, choke, PTO, and your ignition. And you got a whole bunch of other little controls up here. But yeah, it's a good lawnmower. I would give it on maybe an 8 out of 10, except I don't really rank things like that so I'll get it started up now
nice lawnmowers. 